This is our survival world and in the past couple of months we have built stuff like a huge super flat world, a massive Eiffel Tower and a cactus farm that produces over 50,000 items per hour, which is kinda stupid. But this here is our current base with the storage room and to be honest it is straight up horrible. So today we are going to finally build our brand new storage room where we can have everything we ever dreamed of. Welcome back to the survival series and hopefully this is the last time you will see us in this small storage room. But the first thing we have to do is log off the survival world and enter our creative world to start planning the new design. For this new base slash storage room I had a couple of things in mind. First of all big and I mean it has to be. And then circles, circles and maybe even more circles. How many circles do you want? Yes. The design process is usually something we don't show, since it doesn't take that long, but since this is a whole new base design with the storage room, it took quite a while. In total, we just spent about 14 hours in this creative world just testing, building, copying and trying to come up with something we really like. One of our all time favorite block is the stone bricks. In our previous survival world, we had way too many builds with that and our storage room, well it had some stone bricks as well. Sometimes I felt like I was living in a world that only had stone bricks. The goal is to make this storage room a bit different, so this time we are trying to completely avoid using stone bricks in this whole build. This thing looks amazing, but it's just a shell of it. I'm not gonna spoil all the decoration and details we have planned here, since you will see those as we build this in our survival world. You know what else is amazing? The money you can make from today's sponsor, Salad. Yup, Salad is a community where the gamers can use their idle computers to make some money. Salad uses your graphics card to mine cryptocurrencies and it's easy as 1, 2, 3. Download the Salad app, use the promo code SHALKER30 to get double the earnings for a limited time. And put your PC to work. You can run the Salad app all the time or only when you're not using the PC. All of the earnings you get can be exchanged into Steam games, a lot of gift cards or even Minecraft Java account keys. Almost 900,000 people have signed up to Salad and in total they have earned 5.2 million dollars. That's pretty crazy. Also if you sign up using the code SHALKER30 there will be a giveaway where you can win one of 30 Minecraft Java keys or $25 balance to your Salad account. The link to that giveaway will be down below. So put your idle computer to work and get rewarded some green stuff for it. Check out the link below and thanks again to Salad for sponsoring this episode. But before we get to build this, did you guys notice how massive this thing was? We don't have anywhere near this many blocks to build it, so it's time to collect those and oh man, this is gonna take a while. The first thing was duping a lot of white and grey concrete, since those are the main blocks for the walls. This just took a couple of minutes of AFKing and done. Okay, I'm kidding. It took like a couple of hours to do that. Since I couldn't just stand around here, I started to convert the tubed concrete powder into concrete. Very nice multitasking. At home, I started to do two things at once as well. First of all, making a fun little area for the villagers and breeding them. They are needed for the quartz blocks. Don't wanna flex on you guys, but we get our unlimited emeralds from the stacking rate farm. So spending a few of those to get quartz blocks is a very good deal. And the second thing I did is chopping down more trees, since we still don't have a tree farm. For this storage room we need about 12,000 logs. 80% of them will be made into chests and hoppers, and the rest is used on decorations. And yes, this storage room will have 2,000 chests of storage, which can hold up to 3.4 million items. Insane amount. Thanks to concrete being so easily duped and this being the main block, in total we spent about 7 hours to collect and craft all the items. So there are a lot of shulker boxes full of stuff now. One thing we didn't really think through is the placement of this absolutely massive unit of a storage room. The goal was always to build it close to the world spawn and this is the only kind of flat area we have. But it clearly doesn't fit here. And what do you do when it doesn't fit? You just make it fit. We roughly marked down the placement of the storage room and I welcome you to the Shulker landscaping. 
we have literally sharker box full of tools to help make the ground beautiful. This mountain didn't seem like much of a task, but then started taking us quite a while, like multiple hours quite a while. It ended up taking us a bit over 4 hours to get it removed completely. This is the height we wanna build our storage room onto, so next task is to create a smaller version of the super flat world by filling all of this in with dirt. Ok looking great so far, time to make the first layer of our storage room so we can see the size of this thing. Ok but wait a second, does it really mean we need to make all of those edges look natural over here? Yes we do, and just a warning, this will take a while for sure. This mountain needs to be lowered, the sharp edges need to be gone and everything needs to be made out of dirt. Time check, 3 hours into removal, vibe check, not great. After another 3 hours of sweating in a block game, we got the biggest part of the mountain done and only a small part of it was left. Here we made a little alleyway that brings us to this beautiful lake and it went a lot quicker than the other mountain. After two and a half hours of more digging, these mountains were landscaped to just perfection. The final task before we get to building was the other edges, where the platform just floats. You may think we are crazy, but it seemed like a quick just under 2 hours and it was done. How much time have we spent so far? I don't know, who's counting at this point? Actually of course we are, the total time to landscape this from the ugly random area to this is 14 and a half hours. Resetting the timer and let's get to building now. Building up the walls of our base by doing the lower areas first. These corners here are pretty difficult to replicate from the design, but with laser focus it's getting us some progress. Then again we removed some dirt from the ground to replace it with the spruce planks. Maybe we should have left those empty in the first place, but we are here to work hard, not smart. One dumb little thing that took us an extra 45 minutes was to move all the dirt and stone we mined away from the build. Can you imagine spending 45 minutes just to empty out the chests full of stuff into shulker boxes? At least we have a really good supply of dirt and stone now. The next step is some walls on the inside and roof above the spruce planks. Oh and by the way I'm not complaining that this stuff takes so long. We are the ones that decided to take on the project this big. And as of right now, we are at 7 hours into building the ultimate base and we are about to finish the circle roof. We are building up all the posts that will connect at the top. This part is really gonna make this base look great. Oh man, this thing looks very epic. But wait, we haven't placed not even a single chest to our storage room, so let's fix that. First we marked out the chest layout on the floor, and those who have seen our previous storage room can definitely see the similarities, but this design is really good to use, and can easily be modified to fit this area. 
As you might have noticed, this whole new base and storage room is modern themed. We really wanted something different from the medieval and wood vibes, like we usually do. We are even using the same sorting system behind the chests, because I haven't found a better one that fits to our needs. It has a lot of redstone dust, which can easily cause our storage room to be laggy, but we will look into optimizing our Minecraft clients if the lag gets too bad. The top of our storage room is gonna be covered with grass, and that is for a good reason. But first, we have some finishing touches to do with the interior walls. Now let's get into adding the decorations and details into this build. We have a lot of empty spots around the whole base and we have ideas to basically fill out everything. What we basically did here is 4 different forest biomes. I think it brings a lot of beautiful greenery into our storage room and even looks great from above. What about the nether portal? Here you go. This side is gonna have the entry to the nether. Then we have the side with our beds. Cause even when you live in the most futuristic house ever, you still need to sleep for some reason. And on the outer side of the build, we still have a lot of spots empty. And they are gonna be made into little biomes as well. So let's begin. First one being a little riverside biome with a beach. This is the jungle land, with no pandas, unfortunately. A dry old desert, the sandness. But this biome here is birch-tastic. Then we got icy land, looking icy. A little mini end with an end chip. And on the other side here, you got the nether side. And lastly, we have the orange wood biome. So now all the decorations should be ready, and it's the time we can move into our new home. Moving in means we need to bring all of the stuff from our old storage room and assign a new place for the new ultimate storage room. But I think it's pretty boring to watch that, so I'll see you guys when we are fully moved in. Oh by the way, here's a recap of all the time we spent. 14 hours of planning, 7 hours of collecting items, 14 and a half hours of removing the mountains and finally 22 hours of building. You can do the math if you wanna see how much it took in total. And hello, welcome to our brand new home slash space slash storage room slash I don't even know what to call this. Let me give you guys a tour of it. Before even stepping in, this thing looks insane. But let's go in and I will show you around. So right here you see our beds. And when we go past those, you can see everything is sorted really nicely and we can have over 480 different items sorted here. As I said before, this storage room can hold up to 3.4 million items which will be pretty hard to fill up. On this side we have the nether portal, which also has the nether bricks on the ground. And on another side we have our chest, where we can actually input items, because you know, this is not just a storage area. Everything is connected with hoppers, droppers and a lot of redstone. So we can input almost any item from here, and it will be sorted directly into the correct chest. This is truly a storage room of our dreams, and if I would have to rate it, then it would be 10 out of 10. But then again, build difficulty, 10 out of 10 as well. There is a word download for this storage room down below, but I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya! Bye!